Uh, thanks, organizer, uh, Xu An, Xu Gui, and Jiang Hong for organizing this uh, uh, important and, and, uh, and meaningful uh, workshop and uh, dedicated to Kiel. Yeah, so, uh, and thank you for inviting me. Uh, so, I got to know Gail for started um, during my PhD period. I came to Canada in 92, and I, at that time, probably next year, 93, 94, and uh, among these four universities, uh, Waterloo, McMaster, Grove, and New York, we organized and uh, build land for, and uh, there's a, there's a uh, dynamic day. We take turns and then rotate, and so, um, I, I, I gave my first talk at McMaster, and I was very nervous and before that I talked to Gail, Gail so, okay. and, and Gail and very encouraging and gave me some tips on, okay, well, so, and uh, also, and because uh, at that time I was presenting something on new network, work, uh, I was thinking of the, um, that, um, working on that as for my thesis, and, uh, but I was not quite sure. And Gail also gave me some suggestion. Oh, you don't have to be uh, um, decide when, so soon you can take some time, read it while, and at that time your student Mary or Sarah, and you take her as an example, and then read it while, and you don't have to, you can decide later. And don't worry. You're... So very encouraging, very helpful, uh, meaningful I mean, uh, advices or suggestions. So, um, uh, since then, we met very often. No, right? the CMSC camps meeting now. So, and I, I hear, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I benefit a lot from uh, reading your paper and uh, for your support in many other things. And I probably you also in real freedom my basic applications. <laughs> yeah. I always put them as we we are supposed to put some suggested review and then these people, Sue and Campbell, Gil and these people can. Yeah, always on my list. Okay. Uh, by the way, so I know it's uh, probably isn't too late, but that's never too late to say happy birthday to you. Right? So, okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, so this this talk and uh, is a joint work with uh, uh, Yin Su from the Harbin Institute of Technology and uh, Jim Bojan from Guangzhou University. Um, I was told the biologists that typically put those cooperator in the end of the talk. I mean, mathematicians prefer to put the collaborators in the beginning. So, kind of as a traditional. Anyway, so uh, this work was initiated by when she was visiting me three, four years ago. And it took her very long. And it was motivated by reading some paper by Bojan and Jen Shi Yu, and also San Yi Tang. I'm going to tell this story. But it took me so long to. Yeah, we got the first draft done in 2000, at the end of 19 or the 20th so we took. By the way, it just appeared in the BMB. Okay. Uh, so the talk falls into uh, one, two, three, six part, and uh, the first part I always says, right? We have to um, tell the, the a little bit more about the background. What is the motivation of doing work on this, right? And uh, and then by reviewing some of those. Uh, uh, existing work and then that will motivate our model. Okay, so and then we'll address the well postness and then the equilibrium of the model and then the analyze the dynamics. Okay, and then there's a summary session. Okay, and I was I'm trying to translate those mathematical results into into the context of, um, uh, uh, which may be a little bit easier to, to be understood by biologists. Okay, and and then in the last section um, I also would like to um, initiate some discussion about a possible future extension, expansion of the model, okay. Uh, oops. And so we all know vector bone disease is a big, big health issue around the world. And uh, among those vectors, and the major ones are mosquito and ticks. Uh, I know Jen Hong has a big group working on ticks population, and I myself also involved in some uh, publication and tick populations, um, uh, but this work is uh, related to the first uh, vector, the uh, mosquitoes. And the major type of mosquito, we have three types, okay, H, which uh, typically transmits some uh, uh, virus uh, uh, as a pathogens. Um, among those virus, uh, there's a uh, dengue and Zika and then uh, 
uh, chikungunya, the yellow fever, the sadaka fever, and there's many, many virus transmitted by this type of mosquitoes. And the second type is uh, anopheles. Anopheles transmitted malaria. Medium, okay, malaria was transmitted by another type of mosquito, and, and the third one is also uh, the culex. The white pin is not here, white pin has been working on the western virus, uh, virus right? Western uh, 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 diseases, trans also by caused by western uh, virus, okay. And the conventional way, because the, the mosquitoes are vectors, very naturally, okay, if we can control the mosquito population, we can control the disease. That's a nat very natural, the first thought of the. Uh, yes, mosquito and the traditional way control is a uh, 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 insect size and uh, the purpose of uh, applying such uh, insecticides is uh, to trying to kill the mosquito and also bad nets, right? Uh, and then and I still remember when I was young and typically every after in the summer every after dinner so we we have to spray this uh, this, this, this some uh, insecticides around the house. I mean, around the, 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 the we, we don't have house, we did not have house there, just uh, living places, okay. And also on, on the on human side of this uh, drugs for humans, right? Um, uh, oops. And uh, this is those traditional controllers that faces challenges, and uh, now this is other challenges, right? And there's uh, various challenges, okay? I just quickly skip the one, and then you may see. Uh, and then, okay, to avoid, um, to, to, to face and then to, um, to, to deal with these challenges, and there's uh, um, many efforts to uh, try to introduce a new alternative control method, okay? Among which are, the, for example, on the human side, and trying to, the effort has been, um, um, making in, uh, in developing vaccines uh, for for and uh, not too much ex uh, success. When right? the okay. um, on mosquito side, uh, stand okay, the several and standard mosquito releasing method uh, is something uh, uh, okay uh, inherited from uh, 1970s and 80s. So there's a lot of successful story in you applying the sterile. Uh, 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 Stello uh, insects release method. Um, uh, actually, only in 1990s, and then Mark Lewis also had some work on this problem. Okay. And okay, so this is uh, for one direction um, on mosquitoes. The other direction is uh, finding suitable bacteria, and which, number one, it can inhibit the development of replication within mosquitoes. Of the pathogen within the mosquito, on the other side, this 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 uh, this bacteria can should be able to spread with uh, between the uh, between the mosquito within uh, in the population of mosquitoes, and so uh, yes, uh, regarding this uh, C this method, okay, uh, for example, for anopheles mosquitoes, there's some success. I mean, um, uh, this is a uh, I I read this paper and. Um, uh, in 19, I think it's 19, so 2017 or 19, 18, and there's a, a group in John Hopkins Public Health, and we know John Hopkins um, Public Health, and they not only have the, so, the so-called soft science, but they also have hard science, they do experiment, okay? There's a group there, they, they, they identified, after many years effort, they identified a special type of bacteria, which is called Senecio AS1 bacteria, which can inhibit malaria mosquito, um, uh, the, the, the malaria pathogen uh, plasmodium and to develop to replicate to replicate within mosquitoes. In the meantime, it can survive very well within mosquito and can spread between mosquitoes very well. That's one. And for H mosquito and Wolbachia, this is another type of bacteria. Um, for this, I believe there's a certain group who developed I mean, cultural development I mean, uh, uh, different strains of uh, Wolbachia bacteria. And there's people from Australia, and then there's one group from uh, US and Michigan, Michigan State University. There's a, there's a biologist who, I think during his PhD studies, uh, he identified, found, and the culture successful, and then Okay, so Wolbachia bacteria. So, and, then, and later he uh, he he also joined a, a lab in in China in Guangzhou, and so the the yeah. So it's also the Chinese government spent a lot a lot of money and to, to build a mos mosquito factory. 
to 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 uh, to create to generate a, a big amount of I think it's millions millions of mosquito a day and the amounts that they're finally and the release. Okay, so the working mechanism for uh, for using but uh, rubber bacteria to control the mosquito and to control malaria is the following. Okay, so there's a there's a special mechanism here. This is called a cytoplasmic uh, uh, incompatibility. What that means is the following, because the following figure probably shows you the idea. Okay, now uh, this column for uh, this is a, a, a female and the male mosquito. Um, the, 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 the dark color is, means mosquito infected by uh, uh, bacteria. W, okay, W means the bacteria. And the, the, uh, the, the blank one means this uninfected. So see the, 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 uh, the X laid from the female, uninfected females, okay, okay. And so the first one, okay, this crossing, oops. This crossing, the first one, and the, also the, the just normal. The offspring can hatch, okay, normally, and also uh, uh, carries non, uh, no rubber uh, bacteria. But if, and then here, if infected female, infected female, okay, mating with, with uninfected male, mating with uh, uh, infected female, they can produce offspring very normally, but they all carry bacteria, okay? But it's the, the second one that explains uh, the so called uh, uh, plasmic uh, incompatibility. So the offspring, uh, initial for some strains will not cannot hatch, right? Because there's an incompatibility, and so there will be no hatch, there will be no offspring. But some other substrains they can hatch, they can hatch, but partially, but not fully. And you may have noticed in the title, there's a, there's a, there's a in, uh, in, uh, imperfect uh, IC. Okay, that explains that there's a impact CI. Sorry, CI. It's okay. That means a partial. Uh, if for some strains is totally no offspring, but for some other strains you have a partial. Okay, only a small proportion we have. Okay, that's the working mechanism. And then you can see among the four types of crossing in terms of mating, and the only so this is a type only. See, this is the all carries. Okay, this one yes can hatch normally, can produce offspring, but they all carry bacteria. But the only one out of the four crossings, so you can only uh, can produce offsprings without infection by the bacteria. Okay, so and uh, let's you can imagine after one, two, three, uh, and several generations, so the uninfected uh, mosquito will be getting smaller, and, and the population will get uh, be getting smaller and smaller, and that way people will expect. Okay, so yeah, uh, the infected mosquitoes and the bug and the uh, so. Uh, uh, dengue virus can be uh, prevented, can be inhibited, can be uh, uh, eradicated within the mosquito. But okay, but uh, uninfected bacteria and uh, mosquito, the population will become smaller and smaller. That way, people will expect okay, uh, so that way control the uh, dengue. Uh, so yeah, there's a period application of the CI okay, in dengue. There's a lot of uh, uh, field experiment and in Australia and Brazil, China. I think China started in 2012, uh, 2014. Australia 2012 or 13, a couple of years earlier then. And later there's a Colombia, Indonesia, Singapore. I have this particular mention that uh, uh, as far as I know, because I have a friend, uh, Jian She Yu and uh, Mo Xun Tang and uh, Bo Zhen, they, they are involved in that project, releasing in two small islands in Guangzhou. But the Indonesia, there's a in a big area involving population of 2,000, I mean, 20, uh, what is that? Uh, 20 million, more than 20 million in the area without a population, human population of more than 20 million. So that's okay. And so after several years, this, this, this paper in science published by this group, and they, they reported the result and the four years uh, implication in Guangzhou. And the result seems to be very promising, okay, and very uh, hopeful, I and mean, promising, okay, very encouraging. Go, so, so that's what I I know. But I uh, so those field experiments in, in Australia, Brazil also have some report. Okay, so I'm, I'm just following this one because I have friend, my friends are involved. So, 
I must make a modern C, uh, CI, this is the effect when there's uh, some work, a serious work by uh, the group in Guangzhou, that's because they have a, yeah. um, Also, there's a, 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 some, a, a couple of papers by, uh, by Shanxi Normal University and, and Tangshan, Tangshan Yi, the group, okay, and many others. But the most of them are ODE model, and uh, one of, a few of them are uh, DE model, but does not show that e, and the, the, and the advantage or the, the merit of the delay equations, okay. And this work was, uh, was, ma was made, uh, motivated by uh, this paper, okay, in, uh, published in 2015. And they, they, in that paper, they propose, say, among other things, this is a, they propose as a fundamental basic model, and later they add this, okay, incorporate the impulsive, impulsive aggregation and releasing, okay, and this kind of, but the basic model is this one, this is an ODE model. Okay. Uh, so here I and you are to get, uh, I represent the population of infected female, uninfected female, and by assuming the one-to-one -one sex ratio, sexual ratio, and therefore, you, and I could be either infected female population, also um, infected male population, okay? So, and here mu is a parameter that account for the imperfect maternity transmission. Uh, if we go back to that trend, okay? So here, okay? Here, the traditional, for some strains, 100% of the, um, uh, the offspring will carry uh, uh, replicate bacteria. But that mu says uh, some strains, you may not be perfect. So there's uh, some, just a small, uh, there's a proportion, okay? That mu account for that. Imperfect, okay. Uh, and then the B, okay, is a production rate. Here, I, I would say it's a combined production rate, okay. Combined uh, mating rate and uh, and uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the number of eggs per each mated female will produce, okay, will lay. And D is a density independent. Uh, so this is another type of should be density dependent death rate. Okay, because the coefficient of that uh, quadratic term. So again, another type of, okay. Uh, a D is a, a parameter that the, 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 the authors used to, to gauge the fitness of course, right? It depends if it's a positive or negative, and then, then it accounts for benefit or cost, okay? In the competition side, okay? I'm good. Well, I will come back to this later. So the QC is another parameter that I can't explain the ICI intensity. If it's a one account for complete CI, and no eggs laid coming from those uh, crossing, the mating will, will, be, will hatch. But when Q is equal to zero, the stand for no CI at all, so, okay? And to help understand this, uh, this is prime, so I, we can, we can uh, split this term into two. And here you can see, this is a crossing, the uninfected, uninfected. This is a crossing, infected, uninfected. So that's a Q just shows this a proportion, well, okay. Uh, okay, that because that's the rate of um, uh, the, uh, the, the production rate for the second equation. And similarly, the first one, okay, it's, you have two crossings, okay. Infected, infected female, mating with uninfected male, infected female, mating with infected male, okay, so this is that. Uh, so, and so I, at that moment, I, after reading this paper, and I will compare this to, to some other work by, by Eugene Shi and his group, and there's a notice of this, not only this paper, but some, the, those papers, they all omit, okay, there's some important omission, okay? Number one, density independent death rate. Okay? I, I mentioned that there was a typo there, so I really mean to say that's density dependent, but density independent death rate was missing, okay? And also the maturation period of mosquitoes are missing as well in the model. Uh, we all know, right? And there's a dependent and independent death rate is an important uh, uh, parameters, okay? And that affects the population uh, uh, dynamics, okay? Significantly, can be. Uh, also, oh, in terms of biology, the density dependent, independent death rate reflect a sort of reflect as a, it's a genetic feature, okay? Uh, regardless of what is the population is, right? Uh, and for, uh, for, for the omission two, we all know there's a, a, a lot of people in the audience who have been working on delay equation. We know delay, okay? 
uh, can play a significant, a very important role in the population dynamics. Uh, in particular, this is the CI. Anyway, it's a development obstacle. Um, it should be okay, should be related to delay maturation delay because this is, tells you how 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 many uh, if it's a in, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, for not complete uh, uh, CI, and then you can explain how 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 strong how 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 what level the CI is. Okay, really, we have to, and this is okay. Uh, uh, relate to the maturation delay. Okay, so, um, how many of them? Okay, well, anyways, uh, maturation is a development period. Okay, so. Uh, okay, this work intends to incorporate in this to 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 miss. Uh, missing a factor into a model, uh, so that will and see if this uh, uh, this model incorporate delay in such a way relating to CI can provide any uh, new uh, biological insight into this uh, this population uh, robot cat uh, population dynamics. Uh, oops, what's wrong? Okay, okay. It's missing the model. I'm supposed to have the model here. Oh, this page is blank. Uh, okay, so. In the, uh, probably we can go to the last page. Okay, so at, they're all gone. Oh. Okay, so they probably go to the last page. Oh, the several places is gone. Huh? Will you open the file? Well, can I uh, get the uh, yeah, USB? Yes, yes, yes,
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we present the recruitment turn in the in three, and uh, we get this one. The, uh, this, uh, uh, the, and we present two. At the second, re, I mean the replace, uh, recruitment turn. Okay. And then we end up having this uh, model with delay. Okay. Uh, so you can see in addition to, so I now the I see I effect is represented by this parameter because it's a it's an actual death rate I record, right? Because you introduce the, in addition to the natural death, means the natural death rate you join an imp, uh, the immature peer. And here I, I combine all those uh, uh, the, uh, the stages before adult into a single one just using the tau to know the the time of development time. Here development is from X until maturation. So here I use this, we use this theta to account for the CI level. We see that theta is zero, which means this is one, there's no, there's no CI at all. But theta is infinity, it have completely CI. Okay, and um, mu as before depend on both the host population and the specific strains. Uh, we have some reference, and then some paper shows. Okay, for some strains, for this strain, mu is equal to one. Okay, and that crossing, um, yes, they can hatch. The offspring can hatch. X can hatch, but 100 percent they carry the bacteria. But for some strains, that we all know, you only have a proportion. Okay, so that carries a bacteria. Okay, so so this is the model we are going to work on, and also. We have incorporated density, uh, 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 independent death rate here. Okay, that's it. And uh, so, uh, so, so, um, so, this is a model we have. Uh, in, in addition to the same D, and then we have two D one, D two to represent the density dependent, the density independent death rate for infected uh, uh, mosquitoes, and D three, D four to account for the density dependent, the density independent death rate for uninfected mosquitoes. Okay. Uh, so now well postness. Well, uh, this is true, and we notice that there's a, the, the singularity is as, uh, because yesterday I was asking one of the speakers, okay, you have, yes, this one have the same situation. You looks like you have singularity, but it's removable, okay? Then after move, we define that on the right hand side, you can, that's no issue. And so the well postness and can be easily established by using the standard zero in delay equations, okay, systems. Uh, and also, the positivity, we can also easily address the positivity as a solution, okay, um, so we, this can all fall into the context, context of a uh, real postness, okay, uh, we can also establish a global existence, as, as existence by proving the, uh, the boundaries of the solutions, okay, and now, and then, uh, in order to analyze the structure of equilibrium, we first, okay, I introduce these two uh, a com composed parameter, which can be called re um, the basic reproduction number for infected and uninfected mosquitoes, respectively. In, okay, uh, so when both are negative and less than one, the model one only has a trivial equilibrium, which attracts all feasible here, feasible means a non-negative solutions. Okay, and, and to see this, we are using comparison theory in delay differential equation plus the the the, the theory in uh, um, asymptotic autonomous is developed by uh, Young's uh, colleagues, host Timmer. Right, this, uh, uh, we first establish okay, I will approach zero, and, uh, and then this U equation will have a limit equation. So this, uh, yeah, so that can be easily addressed, and therefore. Uh, both R1, R2, and less than one is a trivial, it's a boring, we don't need to worry about that so good because the mosquito will go to extinction. And I'm only interested in the situation where at least one of this is, a is larger, larger than one. Okay, so, uh, so uh, for the, when the first one is larger than one, then we have the so-called infection-free equilibrium, and, okay, and the I equal, uh, component is equal to zero. Um, U component is given by that form, uh, formula, which is a positive. And uh, okay, so model has a full infection recurrent in our R2, R2, not only R2 larger than one, but also mu has to be equal to one. When mu is a strictly less than one, there will be no uh, full infection equilibrium, or I, you may call it replacing equilibrium. Replacing means infected. Uh, 
mosquito we place is an uninfected mosquito. You, you don't have wild mosquito animals, right? So this is, a, okay, uh, in the paper, I think we, we use a total infection, but later I realized probably full infection or replacing infection would be uh, better. So anyway, so, so you see that, that this is this two boundary equilibrium, that the condition for this two boundary equilibrium to exist is a, is a little bit different, but they are similar, but the, so the second one has an actual condition uh, requiring mu to be one, okay? And, okay, for, and we were trying to do some analysis on the dynamics of later found, oh, the two many primes. Okay, let's make life a little bit easier, but assume these two density dependent, density independent death rate to be identical. And therefore, we just want to, okay, see, uh, when I but allow this two, one, two, uh, two, two, four, two, 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 uh, D2, D4 to be uh, uh, different. Okay, and uh, in that case, and then these two basic reproduction are identical. Identical. So, and we assume this is larger than one. Okay, and okay, then we analyze the dynamic uh, uh, for two different scenarios. Number one is a perfect maternity transmission, meaning that all offspring produced by infected mosquito will carry bacteria, 100% carry bacteria, okay. And second one is imperfect, but, okay. So I started by looking at this one. On this assumption, we know that the E1 equilibrium exists, it's uh, locally, and this is the only claim that, okay, it's asymptotic stable when D2 is larger than D4. What is the biology meaning? That means the uninfected mosquito will be more competitive than the infected mosquito. In that case, this is right, this is infection free, right? Because you know, your uninfected is more competitive. Very naturally, you, you would expect this. This is uh, mathematically true. But if this, is, uh, uh, this, is, this inequality is reversed, the adult uh, 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 uninfected is less competitive, and then the, so that equilibrium is unstable. It's unstable. That's the first result. And now, so if this is unstable, what's going to happen, okay? And this is this infection free is equilibrium is unstable, okay? And so then here we have uh, some more details. Okay? And then I mean, it depends on this theta, the CI level, okay? CI level, when theta is, uh, is in, in, in infinity, meaning the complete CI, and then E2 is, it, because it, we, are this, we are considering the case where mu is equal to zero, and the E2 also exists. And therefore, E2 is globally, is locally asymptotic stable, okay? When D2 is, okay, less than D4, which means the uninfected is less competitive. But, uh, oh, sorry, for the first one, for any, so that for any, for, for, for any D2, D3. So here, this, which means uh, complete CI plays on, okay? Well, uh, regardless of D1, D2, uh, D2, D4, which one is bigger, is larger, okay? and then you always have E2, uh, the local stability of E2. But when theta is equal to zero, the, meaning there's no CI effect, and then E2 is locally asymptotically stable if, okay, depend on the competitive level, okay, depend on this competitive level. Uh, if it's, a, okay, and for, for, for the CI between complete and, and no, and then we have a threshold, we're gonna, we're gonna have, okay, E2 is, when this D2 is less than D, uh, D4, okay, and then which means that uninfected is less competitive, and there's, so E2 is locally asymptotic stable, okay? Uh, for theta between this range, okay, between this point now, in this scenario, okay, in this scenario, which means that the, uh, the, the uh, uninfected is more competitive, then we have such a threshold value for the CI level, okay? Threshold level, the CI level. We see I sufficiently strong, and then this E2 is, is a locally asymptotic stable. When CI is not strong enough and C2 is, non, is unstable, okay. That's a, uh, so this is a remark, uh, so some detail about, okay, so discuss about the, how this is, uh, this is a critical value C star depends on tau. It, it's, a in, it's a decreasing function for tau. Remember tau is between zero and the maximum. Here maximum is up to, the value of max uh, tau is obtained by, by, by r larger than one, okay? 
r larger than one, okay, because we have to assume r r larger than one, okay. Therefore, when ignoring maturation delay, and hence now working on the OD model, the total infection, or you may say, uh, uh, full infection equivalent is unstable for all theta, for all theta, okay. And combine this result, okay, see, okay, then we can see, okay, we can have the, uh, that under this condition, meaning that uninfected is more com competitive, that the critical value is actually a fold bifurcation point at which a positive equilibrium should, is expected, okay? Yeah, well, okay. And the next student just confirms this, we factor this up, okay? Yeah, so we have this occur occurrence of positive equilibrium, okay? And so that, because uh, I, yeah, I should just speed up. And, and when R large, larger than one, so when depend on theta, uh, if theta is equal to zero, we have a continuum uh, equilibrium located on this line, all point on this line in the, in the I, in the uh, UI plane will be equivalent, okay? Will be equivalent. But when, when theta is larger than zero, okay, between zero and infinity, and depend on uh, the, just which one is more competitive, and then we're gonna have the different scenario uh, uh, consequence, okay? When, when theta, I mean, uninfected, I mean, uninfected uh, is less competitive and there's no interior. When uninfected is more competitive, there is a uh, interior equilibrium, which is a positive equilibrium, um, meaning that both components of the equilibrium is positive, are uh, positive, okay? And depend on the theta, the theta, okay? Um, in this case, theta plays a role, okay, plays a role. Uh, okay, and that's the second scenario, okay, so we consider imperfect uh, maturation, uh, maternal transmission, meaning that mu is between zero and one, it's not equal to one, the first case, perfect, which means 100% of the offspring will be uh, 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 bacterial carrier, okay. In this case, in this case, okay, uh, now we don't have that E2 to play with, and E2 does not exist cannot exist, and, and in this case, well, so main concern is the stability of the one, and then we have this, okay. Uh, when, when the eye effect is more competitive, E1 is asymptotic stable, okay, and otherwise we have an, a, a, another critical value for the, this parameter, mu. Mu, remember, is a, a measure the, 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 the a level of vertical transmission, maternal transmission, vertical transmission, and, and then when the mu is less than this, and that this is a stable, and the other case is unstable. There, there, again, you would expect a, a photo bifurcation to occur, okay? And that's also reflected in this theorem, okay? In the following three theorem, we, we, well, we, we, we establish that for this case, existence of positive equilibrium by proving the persistence so uh, uh, uniform strong persistence for both I and U, okay, both I and U. Uh, before that, okay, so there's uh, some markers showing that uh, this creative value also depends on tau, but in an increasing way, it's an increase of function of tau. Okay, so now in this case, okay, okay, uh, when mu is larger than this one, because that uh, you could even lose this stability, what's going to happen? Though we expect uh, the existence of positive equilibrium, and now we first confirm the uniform persistence of e i, and then we can confirm the persistence of u, and combine both to consist, uh, confirm the persistence of both by right? the system, and therefore by the the uh, abstractors uh, uh, persistence zero, and then we imply the existence of an interior equilibrium. Okay. Uh, so that we don't have, we, can, we cannot have uh, obtain an uh, explicit form, but uh, by the existence of such a positive equilibrium is obtained by, by applying this uh, persistence zero, okay. Uh, okay, uh, now I'm gonna try to uh, restate those mathematical results in terms, okay, in terms of this four important prime. We organize a little bit. Uh, we have seen two, uh, well, two, uh, four parameters, D1, D2, represent the competitive level, strength, or even the power, of infected and uninfected, okay? And there's also mu and the theta, mu theta, one account for the trans, uh, vertical transmission level, and one account for the 
uh, CI intensity. Okay, it, so in this case, A, the case D1, yeah, D, D, D2 larger than D1 means uh, on effect is more competitive. When on effect is more competitive, and this E1, you can see this way, the uh, infection free is equilibrium is always asymptotic stable. Meaning that in the okay, case, the infected mosquito cannot establish in the mosquito public. Okay? If the initially, because of this, we only have local stability, right? Meaning that when uh, infected mosquito is, is, uh, is initially small, and the solution will approach this infection free equilibrium, and therefore the infection will, and the bacteria cannot be, cannot establish. Further, okay, and then if the mot Maternal transmission is perfect, mu is equal to, equal to one, we have another equilibrium, remember, at E2. In that case, we're gonna have, okay, critical value for theta, okay, theta. Now, the, the, uh, the CI level will determine the, the, the result of the, okay? So here, you, you kind of have a computation, the result of the computation, okay? In this case, uh, so when this is smaller than that one, okay, small C below, C, uh, CI level, then the full infection equilibrium is unstable, okay? And that is a, a scenario of competition exclusion, okay? Meaning that uninfected uh, uh, mosquito will win the competition because it's, okay? But if this is larger than the one CI level, because CI is beneficial to the infect, right? So contribute to the infect uh, mosquito, then therefore you can see, okay, uh, CI is also asymptotically stable. And okay, so, uh, but there you see C1 is always unstable, right? It's always stable. And now you have a C2 also stable. And you expect there are something in between, okay? Something. And that, okay, we have the so called bi stable scenario. And uh, you should have some equilibrium, positive equilibrium. That's precisely the case. So you have equilibrium playing a role of subtax, okay? Uh, uh, in terms of dynamics, okay? And um, so the second scenario, okay, so D2 is less than D4, which means that the uh, infect, uh, uninfect mosquitoes is less competitive, okay? In that case, oh, we have to look at this parameter, mu, and that's also critical value for mu, and if the mu is less than mu1, uh, mu star, and then the infected free equilibrium is stable, and uh, when mu is between mu star and mu1, the so high maternity transmission, then the infection free equilibrium is, uh, is unstable, and there's a stable uh, positive equilibrium, okay? Um, when mu is equal to one, well, both, both uh, equilibrium, boundary equilibrium exists, but this is unstable, this is stable, okay? This, uh, this stability depends, okay? It's, it's, so it's asymptotic stable, okay? Uh, and then another critical, I mean, uh, the case when D1, D2 is equal to D4, and I see we can also have some result, okay? And depend on mu, if there's a less than one, then infection free is equilibrium, so it's a stable. Well, it's a result of a serum seven. And when mu is equal to one, in this case, E2 also exists. And then we have this, okay? We, E2 is asymptotically stable, depend on theta. Theta is positive, it's one case, and theta is equal to zero, okay? But anyway, so, um, we did some numerical simulation to show this C scenario about the okay, C scenario. Okay. Uh, C, well, depending on theta, you could, you could have this scenario approach this uh, 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 infection free equilibrium. You also have a scenario if approaching the full inf infection equilibrium. And you have a scenario that you have a continuum of, of, of uh, uh, positive equilibrium okay, located on that line segment. And then, then in this case, the dynamic depends on the initial condition, then you, okay, depending on where you start, then uh, different initial value will lead to a solution conversion to different uh, equipment on this line. So that's, uh, that's uh, okay. And the other simulation showing, demonstrating our theoretical result, we, I just omitted, okay, it's too much, too many. Uh, oh, okay. And now, no, so I'm gonna explain this in terms of, uh, three possible biological outcomes, okay, we present. Well, we have seen situation where uh, you have failure to establish what uh, what bacteria, uh, bacteria, and it's represented by A1, okay, A2, and B1. That's possible. In what situation? Under those conditions, 
in A1, A2, A B1. We can also have outcome that okay, bacteria infected mosquito bacteria can establish, or it means bacteria infected mosquito can establish, but can suppress the wild uninfected. Okay, that's a scenario represented by B2. We can also have an outcome that is okay, yes, what we bacteria not only can establish, but can actually replace the wild bacteria. Okay, and this is a this is a scenario represented by B3. And A1. Okay, so so man depend on CA level, depend on the transmission, uh, 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 vertical transmission level, um, and the CI CI intensity level. Okay, so so biologically we can oh we have such, such a three scenario uh, possible outcome. Okay, possible outcome. Uh, okay, so the novelty of this. Okay, well wow, we, we 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 take advantage. I mean. But the notice of the observation that okay uh, that the, the, the CI is a, a development obstacle is a okay, problem and therefore very natural to if we very natural to relate it to a maturation delay and the death rate during maturation okay so that's what we did okay? and we we observe something that cannot be observed from the ODE model without without combined the match I mean the CI effect with the maturation data and the death rate during the immature period. Okay, so that's the advantage of it. Okay, uh, so that that allows us to uh, offer some insight into the population dynamics that can OD cannot offer. Right, for example, here we uh, we can see the impact. Okay, and based on this, we can observe. Okay, we can discuss the impact of a, of a global warming. For example, for example. Uh, because see, uh, we know uh, global warming will uh, shorten the maturation of a TV. Will, it's warm as the weather is, right? And the, the maturation time will be shortened. And a smaller tau, you know, depends on the situation. When when tau, when this is when right, when the uninfected uh, mosquito is less competitive, oh, and then that will in small tau will lead to the small uh, mu star. And that will enhance the chance for the Wabaka to establish. Okay, that's uh, we, uh, the mathematical result are we represented by uh, we mark and by theorem. But if in this case a small tau caused by global warming, okay, in the case when the uh, uninfected mosquito is a, is a more competitive, and then you see it goes this direction because C star we have noticed that C star is a decreasing function, and the small tau will mean larger. Larger uh, uh, C star, and that by that result, we show okay, well, in decreases the chance for the bacteria to establish. You see, depend on situation, okay, then the, the effect of global warming will be different, depending on whether the uninfected uh, mosquito is more competitive or less competitive. So, the effect of global warming will be different, okay. Therefore, we can see, right, the global warming can, can uh, depend on the density dependence rate, okay. Uh, uh, we know I would like to point out okay, that such a dense dependent uh, in the, uh, dependent uh, death rate is somehow represent, uh, partially represents a kind of a sort of a fitness, right? Fitness. But fitness can be represented by many other things, right? And the production rate, so that's an independent uh, death rate, right? So the mating capability, those kinds of will. Okay, so yeah, so oh, uh, Um, so yeah, this is a remark I was thought, okay, for a uh, local, just okay, mathematically we have, we, we just discussed, analyze the local stability. Um, um, even for the uh, uh, positive equilibrium, we even did not analyze, did not analyze analytic optimism of stability. But numerical simulation all show confirm those, okay, it seems to suggest that, okay, those local stability implies the global stability. And the local, I mean, the positive equilibrium for the second scenario of bi-stable situation, and then it's, it's, a, it's a stable, okay? Uh, some discussion of the model, uh, so we can, we just, okay, consider one scenario, just compare, choose two prime, uh, choose one primeness, that's a dependent, that's, that's a dependent, uh, uh, density dependent death way to compare. Well, you we can choose the other prime, okay? You can choose the other prime, and then, Generalized to okay, you have 
or other, okay, uh, you have different mating rate because uh, in fact, in fact, the, the mating rate capability may be, may be altered, okay? And in that case, what's gonna happen? Then uh, in addition to that, the production rate may also be effective because the uh, fitness can be represented by, okay? It's a result of uh, many factors, uh, production rate, mating capability, and uh, that's way, I mean, uh, as uh, Yang mentioned, this was just many thousands of ways of death way, I mean, that cause death, right? And so, yeah, so we are just simply consider such a desert, independent death way, that's a dependent way, such a very simple linear way, well, we can choose one. But anyway, so, well, take those comments into, into consideration, we can easily extend that model to such one, which more parameters to play with, but it's very uh, mathematically very challenging. So in the more simpler one, we still cannot uh, completely analyze the dynamics. Okay, so, yeah, so, so uh, yeah, so uh, this paper just appeared in the recent years. Uh, um, yeah, thank you for your time.